Do you want some more? Okay, give me 35 seconds and I'll give you China. It is Thursday, the 11th of August, 2022. Your wish is my command. You want more, I give you more. Now, what's happening at the very beginning of this happened last year in Inner Mongolia when two dams collapsed due to the heavy rains of 2021. But what you saw at the beginning and what you're seeing now is some new footage, which I haven't seen before, of both of the dams actually collapsing. I have shown you other clips one or two times in the last year, but the very beginning of this, which is obviously gone now, is new footage which I have found. Let's have a look at the levels for today. This is like a full episode of the Free Gorges Dam. Here are the levels of the Free Gorges Dam in the last 24 hour period. Kutan, this is all in Chinese, I'm afraid. Um, Chongqing is gone down, has gone down 164.04. And, oh, which one is Yingchang? I can't remember. But let's go to the Free Gorges, third from the bottom. And that has gone up, not by a drastic amount, 147.18. There's no inflow, but the outflow has gone down, because since the last time we've done this at 11,200, because there's hardly any water really happening at the Free Gorges Reservoir. And to have a look at that, let's have a look at the weather for the next 45 seconds. some new satellite images that have been released on the 10th of August from the Senatal Hub. And the first one you can see 500 meters away from the Free Gorges, there it is. The sluice gates are not open, but the power generation you can see from the water flow either side of the center part of the dam is all there. Next door to that, on the right-hand side going up, you can see sort of like this canal. That's the ship's elevators. They seem to be working well, okay. And higher than that, you have the ship's locks. But there does seem to be quite a heavy outflow of water downstream of that. Yingchang going west, going downstream, is the next dam, about 40 kilometers away. We can see that one as well. And... It's not producing hardly any energy. The sluice gates are not open at all. And the ship's locks for these dams seem to be okay because there's no sort of like flood water or any white water rafting coming out there. Now, related to the title of this show, is China drowning in its own dams? Now, this is a report from TV9 Digital. Don't know where that is from. But let's have a read as we go along here, as we watch the video. Floods in China have displaced millions of people. Extreme rainfall is not the only reason. China dams worth billions were meant to prevent floods, but collapse of dams and reservoirs have resulted in severe floods. Floods in China have displaced millions of people. Yes. But for the last week or so, there hasn't been many actual 
floods to write home about. I think there was a typhoon or a cyclone or a tropical storm or the depression coming into Hong Kong, but I was looking at the weather and can't see anything of that nowadays. Now, we have talked about this nest subject, about the South to North Canal project, the water project, bringing water to the north from near enough the Three Gorges Reservoir or from the Yangtze River at least. And this is a bit of state propaganda to say how wonderful it is. Please note, Chinese CPC, CCP, propaganda, not me. Now here it is. Now, away from the three gorges and dams and dams that have collapsed and water projects, what's happening in Hernan again, you may remember maybe like two or three weeks ago that many people were outside the banks demanding to withdraw money, but the banks were saying, no, you can't have your money. It's happening all over again and people are getting a little bit annoyed. It's like you going to Chase, for example, and saying, I would like to withdraw $10,000 so I could buy a second-hand car, for example. And you have the money, and the bank actually just says, no, go away, you're not having it. This is what happens in some parts of China, as many people are saying that the Chinese economy is not doing as well as Xi Jinping and his cronies are saying it is. Please note, this is only a small part of China. This is only the village banks. It's not every single bank in China, but it is annoying for these hardworking people who want to have their money and basically they can't have it. <laughs> What else is happening in China? Well, they say they're going to be the most carbon-free country in the world by whenever it is. And they try to, there have been some videos coming out recently on Twitter, and they're not really verified, but it sort of like says, well, satellites spy on other countries. You would agree with that. Yeah, China does it to America, America does it to China, Russia does it to everyone in the world. And what we pick up from that is like the vegetation, how green it is. This is what China does to hide that it's not as green as they say it is. In other words, these are CCP lies. <laughs> And there seem to be more and more channels on YouTube depicting that the Three Gorges Dam or really heavy floods have happened in China. Well, they have happened, but not so severe as what we're going to show you now. The first one would actually say, this is the Three Gorges Dam. Oh, let me just turn off the volume here. Let me do it again, take two. The first one I'm going to show you is basically one YouTuber saying that the Three Gorges Dam has collapsed and this is the aftermath of it. Obviously not the Three Gorges and this is not the Three Gorges. That is definitely not the Three Gorges and that is not the Three Gorges as well. <sighs> all for clicks, all for monetization and, and I'm still shocked and surprised that they get sometimes over 200,000 uh, views and they have subscribers of over 200 again 200,000 that's amazing why can't you come to my channel yeah I only have 30,900 and I've been waiting for weeks to get to up to 31,000 so speaking about that do like subscribe and share it really helps the channel the algorithm if you want to hit that super thanks to help Tokyo's 
Cat Foundation food, please go ahead. Many thanks, as always, to the members of the channel. I think I have eight now. Thank you for your support. Uh, hello to all the free members on Patreon. Thank you for your support as well. And for everyone else, just to click and watch, like, subscribe, and share. And please do check that subscription. Sometimes it disappears while I itch my ear. Um, but please just do resubscribe. I think I've waffled on long enough. Not too sure how long the video is. Be good. Be well. God bless. Have a most awesome day. Ah, oh, I forgot to tell you. Now, against the wishes of many people, they said, don't go and get the vaccine. I am sort of a little bit stubborn. And I did today actually go and get my first vaccine. It wasn't very painful. Literally, this is like three hours afterwards. It's just like when you have the flu injection, my arm is a little bit sore. No regrets over it so far. I do get a, let me be careful, I do get a card like that, and that will give me the access once I get my second and third vaccination over the next six weeks. But I'll keep you, keep you updated if, my, let's say, my leg falls off, for example. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank you.